Do 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 do. Mr. Void's here. Do 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 do. Today we're talking my favorite stock. What is going on, guys? It's your boy Void here, and today we are talking about my five favorite stocks. Um, I kind of want to make a fun video. Sometimes I have a hard time debating whether my next video should be software engineering or finance related. Sometimes it is both. It's a little tough sometimes because I don't know what you guys want always. So it would be nice to hear what you guys are more interested in, whether that be the software engineering side or the finance side, or if you're interested in both, it would really help me out to know which one you're more interested in. So please let me know in the comments below. Don't judge me too much. My background, I got an unmade bed because it's winter break. Yeah. Stock number five. So this one I've talked about before in my dividend video, but it is O. O is a real estate investment trust, which is basically, it, you can kind of think of it like a real estate company that buys real estate and uses this money that people put into this trust to purchase real estate and they pay a dividend kind of as a, kind of like a reward for like owning them in a sense. Um, their dividend is actually monthly and it's roughly under 25 cents per share. Um, the cost right now is around $60 per share. So it's a pretty good ratio of dividend to stock price. Um, I also think that real estate is generally pretty stable. Um, it doesn't go down a whole lot. It doesn't go up a whole lot and they've increased their dividend since 2013, almost every year at least once so it's pretty stable it generally goes up um its average return over about a year is i think six or seven percent so that's pretty close to the s p 500 average as well as get providing this dividend income so that's why i like it a lot um i like to stick a bunch of it in my Roth IRA and it makes me about seven bucks a month, which kind of makes me happy knowing that I'm able to pay for like a lunch every month with my dividends. Um, I do reinvest them. So in a sense, I don't get a free lunch for the month, but it kind of like mentally, it makes me feel that way. And I know it's going to snowball because if I get $7 every month, the share only costs 60 and I reinvest it every single month, like it's gonna go up, it's gonna snowball and get bigger and bigger and bigger. Stock number four. So stock number four, I am, I'm slightly a speculative person. Not too much, but I do enjoy myself a nice speculation. And this one isn't too risky, but it's definitely a little risky. Um, so this one is going to be square. Some people can say that Square is massively overvalued at its current state of revenue, um, but personally, I think it is valued for the future in the sense that they're forecasted to grow their revenue. They've acquired some great companies. Um, they currently own Cash App, which is huge. I don't see Cash App like losing users or getting any lower. Cash App even recently um, like opened up like whole bank accounts and investing accounts and stuff like that. So they're definitely growing. Um, they also own Weebly, which is a huge like web services thing. Um, you can build like websites and you don't have to code at all when you use Weebly. So that's really nice. Um, they're also really known amongst like small businesses that want to create a website without hiring a web designer. Those are great companies that it, that are under it. And Square has a bunch of great products. Um, whenever you go cash out, like you're buying an ice cream or whatever, you swipe your card and they have the like Square interface. It's a lot nicer than a lot of the other competitors, at least Whenever I use it, I think it's a lot nicer. I like that it gives me the option to email my receipt. It linked my email to my card number, so I don't even have to put it in anymore. It's really nice. All right, my next favorite stock is also a little speculative. Um, I do like to take a risk. Uh, I feel like because I'm at a younger age, 
I am in a position where I can handle a little bit of risk. If everything goes down to zero, that's, I mean, that would suck a lot, but it would, I, it would be okay f with me. Like, I don't have a lot of dependence. I don't have a lot of, like, I don't have as many responsibilities as I think I will have later on. So I'm okay taking a little more risk. Um, and this third stock is DocuSign. Um, I actually bought this stock when it was about 50 a share. Now it's, now it's 245 a share. So it's definitely made me a profit. Um, on that front, but is it overvalued now? It could be, I still trust them personally because I think they got a boost from COVID, yes, because they're the literally the nature of their business is online signing of documents, but I don't see people reverting back to documents from DocuSign. I think historically that anytime there has been like mass production of something, or mass need of something, that thing becomes more of a norm in life as opposed to reverting back to not having it. In World War I, um, wristwatches actually became like more standardized to wear amongst everyone because in war, a pocket watch was inconvenient and having it on your wrist was much more convenient. But, Years later, we still have watches. I mean, even to this day, we have smart watches and people still wear regular watches too. So they've definitely been here to stay. They didn't, they weren't only used during that time of war. So that's kind of my take on it. Um, I think DocuSign is here to stay and will continue growing um, even past COVID. Maybe it goes down a little bit after COVID, but I think in the long term, it will reach new highs after COVID even. My second favorite stock right now is actually going to be a really popular one, um, but that's gonna be Nvidia. Um, if you don't know who Nvidia is, they're a pretty like, they're a pretty popular stock. Um, they're a huge company. They make uh, graphics processing units or GPUs. Basically GPUs are used for a lot of things. They're used for computers whenever you're gaming. They can be used for cars even, like autonomous driving. Um, they, they're used in a lot of machine learning and AI. N NVIDIA is a huge supporter of machine learning and AI and research and a bunch of crazy things. And the reason why I, they, I put them at up at number two, even though they're already so high up, one, right now there's kind of a Bitcoin craze again, and if crypto is the future, NVIDIA is going to continue to grow. Um, also, if autonomous vehicles are the future, there's a good chance NVIDIA continues to grow. They are the leader in GPUs by far. They're the leader in ML and AI, so definitely a good stock to watch out for. I know it's valued high, but I believe that Nvidia is well positioned for the future to continue to skyrocket their growth. Number one. So this one is going to be kind of expected from me, but number one, a stock that holds a good place in my heart because I bought it at $50 a share. It was my very first stock I ever bought according to Robinhood back in 2016. And that's going to be Microsoft. Um, Microsoft is a tech giant. They've survived an antitrust lawsuit already back in, shoot, I don't even know. I think it was like 2000. No. Back in like early 2000s, they survived the anti antitrust lawsuit. Um, they're the largest tech company as far as number of employees, number of subsidiaries. They're one of the most diversified tech companies. And for that reason, I think they are well positioned to be a stable stock, regardless of what happens to any one of their sectors. If PlayStation outsells Xbox, it doesn't really matter because Xbox is a fraction of Microsoft's entire revenue. Um, on top of that, they are also heavily pushing uh, software services. So on the Xbox platform, they're pushing the Game Pass, which is currently making 
them a good amount of revenue and i think it will make them even more in the future especially with acquisitions of bethesda um, that was really big i believe they're still trying to acquire another big studio according to speculation azure azure is huge microsoft is doubling down on azure they are hiring a lot for azure if you don't know what that is it's basically a cloud like computing platform or like it's it's but it's basically cloud services such as a similar to AWS or Google Cloud. Um, they're really competing with AWS right now. AWS currently is larger and makes more money, but I do believe that um, Microsoft is a more trusted company who will overtake the cloud industry if they keep their current pace. I also believe they're the only tech company who isn't like under public eye under like fire for trust lawsuits and uh, all this like bad press and generally people don't dislike microsoft so i think they're really well positioned to instead of half having to be on the defense to really be get aggressive and try to make some moves with new technology new research um, I'm going to be looking out for Azure to take the lead. I'm going to be looking out for the Xbox Game Pass to do really well, as well as some more acquisitions from the Xbox Studios. I'm also going to be on the lookout for Windows. I do think they lost some market share to Apple. Maybe they continue to lose some market share, but I think that Windows can come back strong. Um, we'll see what happens. Either way, Microsoft's a great stock. They go up very steadily um they also provide a dividend which is really nice um, all that combined i think it is one of the safest stocks in my portfolio and that is why i will continue to hold a large amount of it those were my fa five favorite stocks um, i'm not saying these are the best stocks i'm not saying that you will make money if you buy these stocks today i'm just saying that i am buying these stocks and i was giving my reasonings for it uh, I'm kind of trying to uh, get rid of some uh, some liability here. I am not trying to get sued. If you guys want to do the opposite of suing me, which would be liking and subscribing, that would be great. And I will see you next time.